Hey, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Maverick sophomore superstar Luka Doncic has an array of moves and counters that make him extremely tough to guard, but one is particularly devastating, the step back. In this video, I'll break down Luka's step back and what makes it so effective. I reviewed the tape on hundreds of Luka step backs, and this play from the Mavs Clippers game on January 21st, 2020 encapsulates the key parts best. To start the play, Luka accepts a screen from Maxi Kleber going left to right with Clippers big Montrez Harrell switching onto Luka. You could argue that Luka attacking Lou Williams at the point of attack was the better option, but that's a different convo. The first key to Luka's step back is all about dictating space. Montrez has to play higher up here with less of a cushion because of the threat of Luka's jumper. This means Trez has less margin for error with his anticipation and reaction times. Luka knows this. To take advantage, Luka sells a hard drive by pushing off hard with his trail, left, foot or ankle, known as plantar flexion, a hard dribble with the left hand, and, this is critical, really sells the drive with his eyes and dipping of his right shoulder. The dip also lowers Luka's center of mass, which helps maintain balance and aids with change of direction. Doncic eats up the cushion and Trez is now in reaction mode and slightly off balance, going back onto his heels, which further limits his ability to contest a jumper. This is my favorite part of the step back and the key biomechanical sequence. Luka shifts all his weight onto the lead right leg, further aided by his forward lean and shoulder dip. His right ankle is in dorsiflexion, his right knee flexed, bent, hip flexed, and trunk flexed. In this position, key muscles of the right lower extremity, the calves, quads, and hip flexors, and lumbar, low back extensors, are stretched and under tension. Think of them like a spring that's been stretched out and ready to recoil. This is known as eccentric loading. When Luca pushes off the right foot to hop back, those springs, the muscles, do recoil. This is known as elastic recoil and generate a strong, powerful push. Look at the amount of space it creates. After the step back, notice Luca's right foot as he gathers. Being on his forefoot ball of the foot with the heel off the ground and ankle and dorsiflexion pre-tensions the Achilles tendon, eccentric loading, which then quickly recoils, elastic recoil, to facilitate a powerful quick upward force and hasten Luca's release. Lastly, the majority of Luca's step backs end with the same sequence in this clip. Ball in left hand, typically a hard inside out dribble that coincides the hard lead leg plant, the step back, ball and shooting pocket, shoulder square and balanced into a shooting stroke. This consistent setup and execution creates a rhythm which allows his jump shot motor memory to take over with minimal external or internal interference. This is scientifically referred to as quote motor priming or priming the system. To review each of these points and translate it from film to reality, I'll demonstrate the sequence. So to review that entire sequence of events and translate it from on film to reality, I'm going to go through a demonstration. I'm going to be Luca and Montrez going through that play once again. So we're inside, welcome to quarantine life. I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to have a ball, I'm not going to dribble a ball inside. we got to use, use our imagination a little bit here, okay? So, Luca starts here. The first thing we went through was spacing. Luca has the ball in his left hand. Trez has to play up on him because he has to honor the threat of that jump shot. So, I'm back to being Luca. He knows that. So, he has to do a hard sell on that drive with his left hand. So, he plants that left leg, plantar flexion. Hard dribble, eye level is down, drops the shoulder to really sell the drive. And Montrez is now in reaction mode. He shifts his feet. You never want to allow your attacker to kill your front foot. Shifts his foot, has to honor the drive as well. And then he's back onto his back heels. So 
So Luca now knows he has him because he can't react as well to that step back. Going back to Luca, he's in this position. He shifts all of his weight onto that front leg, which leads that eccentric loading we talked about, where the ankle is dorsiflexed, knee is flexed, bent, hip is flexed, lumbar lower sensors are flexed as well, which really tensions key muscles like that spring. So once they're loaded, he de-weights, hops back. Now watch the front foot. As we mentioned again, the ankle is in dorsiflexion. The Achilles is tension, which helps him as he's gathering, go right into his jump quickly and get the shot off. Now throughout that process, additionally, Luca does it all in rhythm. Left hand dribble, plant, inside out dribble, hop into that jump shot. That rhythm and doing it within that flow helps optimize that entire motor pattern. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, evidence-based, narrative-free analysis. You can always find me on IG and Twitter at 3CB Performance. Please take care of yourselves and follow the appropriate precautions to limit your exposure to and spread of COVID-19. Make sure to sub to the channel and follow along on all social media for latest updates. 3CB out.